thing to do. So after he slides up there from the 10 to the 11 on the D string, he plays the 9th fret of the G string, goes back down to the 10th fret of the D string, so it's... Then he goes back to the 7th fret of the G string, slides up to the 9th fret, and again, this is all that pentatonic scale. This is based out of the second position of the pentatonic scale. Uh, then he moves up to that third position of the pentatonic scale. So you have... So f 7 to 9 on the G string to the 12th fret of the G string. Then he does an arpeggio from the 12th fret of the G string, sweep down to the 10th fret of the B string, to the 8th fret of the E string. So, and that's just this minor arpeggio. But then from that 10th fret, or I'm sorry, the 8th fret on the E string, he slides up to the 10th fret and does a chromatic run. So. So 8 to 10, 11, 12, 11, 10. So, so it's... And I think he's hammering all those on. After he hits that eighth fret, he just slides up and hammers on and pulls off all those. And he goes down this, again, this position, the third position of the pentatonic scale. He just goes to the, the 13th fret of the B string to the 10th fret of the B string. Um, then he goes to the 12th fret of the G string. So. Then he slides up from, he hits the 12th fret of the G string, goes to the 13th fret of the uh, B string, slides up a half step, 14, back down to 13. So that's... And then pulls off to the 10th fret of the B string. And after he, he does that little trill and he does, he, he does that pull off from the 13th fret to the 10th fret of the B string, he goes down to the 12th fret, 11th fret of the uh, G string. And the next note sounds like, I don't know, an open string to me, so. Uh, I mean, when, when I slowed it down and transcribed it, that's what it sounded like, so. So it's 12, 11, op pull open on the uh, G string to 12, 9 on the, uh, all on the G string. So 12, 11, open, 12, 9. Then he goes to the uh, 10th fret, to the 12th fret on the D string. So, and again, you can think of all that besides the little chromatics that he does here. And then the little trill he does here, it's all A minor pentatonic. Um, and these, the, these areas that he's doing this, again, it's the, the uh, minor third to the, I'm, I'm sorry, the flat five, the fourth to the flat five to the fifth, and this is the minor third to the major third. Uh, um, and when he does that, the, the 10th fret to the 12th fret of the D string, this is where he starts introducing the arpeggio idea again. He goes from the 9 on the G string, 10 to the D string, and 12 on the A string. So that whole thing is... Um,
And that arpeggio is just an A major arpeggio, starting on the fifth, going to the third, going to the root. And then after that, he does... Uh, He pulls off, he goes down that arpeggio, 12th fret on the A string, pulls off to the 10th fret of the A string, and then he goes to the 12th fret of the D string, slides up a half step, back down a half step. So that's 12, 13, 12. And pulls off to the 10th fret. And again, that's just the fourth to the flat five, the very bluesy thing. Then he goes down to the A note on the A string, the 12th fret, rolls over to the D string, 12th fret, back down to the A string, 12th fret, so to that C note on the D string, which is the 10th fret. So it's... I don't know if he does, but I'm doing the, a lot of chicken picking in the alternate notes instead of. Uh, and same thing with here when he does. I, I chicken pick that there. And I even chicken pick that too. So I use my middle finger on that first note, then I do an arpeggio down there. Um, anyway, so the whole thing, if I can do that up to speed, or not up to speed, but. the whole idea. Uh, really cool. Again, shows how he incorporates uh, scale legato lines with arpeggios. And he, he, you know, like everybody, he likes to pivot off the minor third, major third, and the blues notes and all that. So it's a very easy way to think of all your pentatonic licks. And then, you know, because you can keep those and do those. You don't have to just do one or the other, like just legato or just, I mean, just scale ideas and then go back to pentatonic bluesy ideas. He does a really good job of incorporating uh, the two, going in between the two, but not ever looking like, okay, I'm gonna do a legato idea here, oh, I'm gonna do an arpeggio idea. He throws in those, those little trills, which are really essential blues things, minor third, major third, and the flat five and everything. He throws that in between all the little legato things. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you did, you know, comment down below and uh, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like as usual. And uh, I will refine these things, these videos to what I think you guys really like seeing. Uh, hit the like button if you can. All those things help. Um, or hit the dislike button. I mean, if you really don't like it. And check out guitarbreakdown.com and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.